This is your 2015 Fall Sports Preview, and today we are joined by the Rhodes women's soccer team, head coach Joe Berry, and senior goalkeeper Chandler Kuhlman. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank both of you uh, for joining us today. Uh, coach, we'll start with you, and uh, simply uh, just tell me about your expectations, expectations going into 2015. Yeah, every year in the last couple of years, expectations have been for us to get into a conference final. Um, our goal is always to finish in top two or three. Um, and really just kind of compete as high as we can in the SAA. Um, this year things are a little bit different with the way the conference formats changed and um, with the top seed being able to host all the way through is, is a major goal for us and it's something we're going to be pushing for. Joe, uh, throughout the preseason, throughout training, what are some things you've seen from this team that you particularly like? What are some things you've seen throughout uh, the last couple of weeks? Yeah, I, I, the whole thing is just the team getting along together as a group. Um, been very proud of the seniors and, and um, even the first years and everybody in between just jumping in and running with it right away. Um, I think also the commitment level on and off the field um, and then um, the other is just the depth. Um, you know, we, we've got a great amount of depth this year and I'm uh, really excited to see as that season goes on. Chandler, um, what's been one of your favorite things about this team uh, so far throughout the preseason? What are some things you've really enjoyed? Um, I've honestly just enjoyed how many people we have. We have a really big team this year, and it's just been really fun, I think. Um, we've gotten along since day one, and we've bonded on and off the field a lot. So it's been that's been my favorite part so far. Joe, this team, uh, you've had a lot of great seasons the last couple of years. Last three seasons, you guys have been in the top half of the league. Um, what... Uh, what will it take for this team to break through in 2015 and possibly take home a conference title? Yeah, I, I really think it's going to take everybody that we have this year uh, to get all the way through. Um, the last times we've kind of just run out of gas towards the end of things and uh, just having a little bit more depth. Uh, luck always pays, plays a little bit into it. It's just getting a couple of good bounces and those types of things. Um, and really it's about how you finish the year, not how you start it. And so we're, we're really going to look to try and gear and taper and, and be peaking in, in October and November. Chandler, uh, describe this excitement level among the team. You guys open up on Thursday against Christian Brothers and obviously a big tournament at home this weekend to kind of get things rolling. Uh, describe to me the excitement level among the whole team. Well, I can tell we're all really excited and really nervous. Um, I think we are ready to actually play a real game. You know, we've been practicing for what well, feels like forever, but it's only been like not even two weeks. <laughs> um, I think we're really excited just to see what we can do. Coach, you have a large senior class, a lot of upperclassmen on this team, including uh, the one sitting to your left. Uh, tell me how important these upperclassmen are to the team's success. Yeah, they're going to be the major engine for us this year. Um, the, as the season goes and as they go, I think it's going to be connected to our success. I mean, and, um, their leadership is really what's going to push us through the, the dog days of things. And um, they're really in charge this year of, of our team culture. Um, their job is to teach everything for the years down the road. and and have been very proud of them so far. Daniel, as a senior on this team, how important is it uh, for you and your and your fellow classmates and, and upperclassmen uh, to be leaders among this team? I think we talked about it coming in really great that we, we knew that it couldn't individually each be a leader. As a group of seniors, we had to be a leader. We had to lead by example, not just like playing soccer or like off the field. It's more that like we need to be show how much we love each other as seniors, and that way the team can really continue to do that as well. Coach, uh, talk, talk to me just a little bit about some of your underclassmen and newcomers that have come this year. Uh, obviously, as we mentioned, you have a big, uh, uh, a lot of upperclassmen on this team, uh, and, and I know they're a big part of this team, but what have you seen so far from some of the younger players? Yeah, I've been really help, uh, happy with the development uh, from our juniors down, um, especially the first years we have coming in. They, they just bring such a different dynamic and different personality and, um, and just a lot of energy. So been very happy with them we, we expect some of them to help us out through the years go and um, and uh, so been very happy with them um, and so hopefully we can kind of keep them and keep developing them. Get you both, off, both out on this final question uh, Chandler I'm going to start with you and then coach will get your thoughts uh, what will be some of the key to success uh, to reach those goals and expectations you guys set for yourself uh, what will be some of the keys to success throughout the 2015 season? Um, I think our main keys to, keys to success are um, communication, a lot of energy just throughout the whole season. Like he said, we kind of died off towards the end, and I think it, keeping that energy up and just team chemistry is going to be really key. Coach, I'll ask you the same thing. Yeah, I, I think consistency is going to be a big thing for us, um, being able to 
you know, with an academic load and the soccer load and the travel and everything else that we have going on there, it's just being able to perform at a high level um, all day, every day is, is going to be a big thing for us. The Rhodes College women's soccer team will open up on Thursday at Christian Brothers at 5 p.m. Uh, Coach Barry, uh, Chandler, we appreciate both of you joining us today, and good luck to you guys uh, in 2015. Thank you. Thank you.